Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing one final Sephora Spring Savings Event Haul. These are the remaining items that I picked up that I haven't shared with you yet. And today is the very last day for the sale, so I'm going to do my best to film, edit, and upload tonight, just in case there are some last minute shoppers. I think most of us are pretty much done. Mentally, I'm done with the sale, but I find myself still going back to check the new section to see if there's anything that piques my interest. I haven't really found anything yet. I'm sure I'll go back again. I did spot one Nest perfume oil set that I thought you guys might be interested in. I've fallen in love with the Nest perfume oils and the set is $45 and you get little minis of several different scents to try. So might be worth looking into if that's one of the products that you were interested in. I also picked up a few pieces recently from the Marc Jacobs beauty sale, so I will be sharing those in today's video as well. I can't tell you how excited I am about this first item. This is from Fenty Beauty. It's the Body Sauce, Body Luminizing Tint. I picked up the shade O2 Honey Honey. I was completely influenced once again by Sabrina from Beauty Lookbook. She took a beach trip and she had purchased two different shades and she did a great demonstration on, on both of her legs to show what it looks like and it just made her skin look so beautiful, I instantly added to cart. I thought, yep, this product is right up my alley. Now, I know this isn't going to appeal to everybody, especially if you live in a colder climate or you just don't like body luminizers, but as a fellow Floridian like Sabrina, I love anything with a little tint and a little shimmer for the neck, chest, my arms, my legs, anytime I go out. She has a pretty decent shade range. I believe this is the second shade. And if I love it, I might go back and pick up one lighter. I don't think I would want to go any darker. It's very pretty. Definitely gives good color. You'll have to make sure you wash your hands whenever you rub it in. But it looks so pretty. Just a hint of shimmer. Not much glow. I thought it would have more luminosity actually than it does. But it looks really nice. It kind of gives you an instant tan. Oh, and it smells like coconut. It smells like the beach, really nice. It's kind of dried down. Hmm, I'll have to test it out, make sure it's transfer resistant at least so it doesn't get all over clothes, but I love this, especially for legs if you want just a little hint of color. I never tan naturally in the sun, so I rely on products just like this to give me a little extra glow. I love this. Even just to have something for my hands whenever I sunless tan, it's starting to fade now, but you can see there's definitely a line of demarcation right here. I'm always terrible at doing the hands. The arms are great. They'll be even inside and out, but when it comes to the hands, they're just so tricky because I never want them to get too dark. So something like this is actually nice to rub on the hands or any areas where you struggle. That way it kind of blends into your sunless tan and you don't look crazy. You don't have to worry about it getting too dark or splotchy. A lot of different uses for this, especially going into summer. I think I will get a ton of use out of it. I'm going to have to look into the lighter shade as well. I wonder if that one has a little bit more glow to it. I also picked up one of the new Hourglass Vanish Blush Sticks. I don't think this is a limited edition product. I think it's just a new launch. So there's probably no rush to get this right away. The shades are really pretty and I was just kind of interested to see how creamy they would be. So I purchased the shade Sacred. I want to say these were $45 or $49, so they're pretty pricey. Hourglass markets themselves as clean luxury, cruelty-free luxury brand. The packaging is really pretty. I like this gold. Directions for use. I think we can pretty much figure out a blush stick. So this is the packaging. It seems like it's a decent size. And then this is the shade. It's retractable so you can roll it up or roll it down. Looks kind of like a giant lipstick. You probably could use this as a lipstick. I do have blush on, but I'm gonna go ahead and test this out for you guys. I'm gonna zoom you in closer first. It's pretty pigmented, so. I don't wanna apply more than that. And I'm just going to tap, tap, tap away with my fingers and hope it blends. It feels a bit drier, creamy, but like a hard creamy. It's not glossy. It doesn't go on like a balm. No, it's definitely more 
like a lipstick. It's a thick, creamy blush, which I kind of like. I prefer something like this to the glossier, balmy textures. It doesn't glide on the skin, but I just think it, it is truly a cream blush. It's not going to give you glossiness. Ooh, that looks pretty, and I like the color as well. I like it. Let's see, I have way too much on this finger, so I have to be careful. <laughs> I like the color, but I like how pigmented they are. This color is a much brighter pink than I thought it was going to be. Maybe it's the combination of what I already had on my cheeks and this, but it looks bright pink. Again, this is the shade Sacred. I really, really like this. I am so happy with it. Not disappointed at all. So much color payoff for that little stick. You're not going to need to use much, that's for sure. And I didn't need a brush. I was able to easily blend it on top of what I have. It didn't break up any of my makeup underneath. I think it looks great, 10 out of 10. Now this item is sort of random, but I needed some sharp scissors. I had a pair that I loved, they were amazing, and I lost them. I think my husband probably took them and they're somewhere in his bathroom and it's not even worth trying to go in there to find them. I didn't want to spend a ton of money. I probably could have gone to Walgreens or somewhere like that to pick some up. With the sale going on, I saved 20% off. I figured I might as well invest in a really good, really sharp pair of scissors. And I was reading a bunch of reviews and these Tweezerman scissors had great reviews. These are the brow shaping scissors and brush. People said the spoolie was terrible. They basically just threw it away. I didn't pick this up because I wanted the spoolie. So the spoolie, whatever, don't care if it's not great, but these scissors, are supposed to be amazing. So these I can use to trim my brow hairs because some of them get a little bit too long and since I brush them up and I like to fluff them out, if they get too long, then it starts to look crazy. So I like to trim them down just a bit. Here's a new launch from Olaplex that I'm excited about. This is the Olaplex number no. eight. Bond Intense Moisture Mask. It moisturizes, smooths, adds body and shine for all hair types. It is about time they came out with a hair mask. I also picked up the Kerastase Blonde Absolute Hair Mask. I used it, I've only used it once, but I used it the last time I washed my hair. I really liked it. I'm not sure if I noticed a huge difference the first time around with the amount of moisture in my hair. No complaints. It just, I'm not sure it really blew my mind. Maybe I need to try it again and leave it on a little bit longer. And I, the only reason I say that is because in comparison with the orange Kerastase mask that I always rave about that I ran out of, that mask changed my hair. Within one use, I felt, wow, what a huge difference the one time. So I guess my bar is set pretty high for hair masks. I'll try this one the next time around. I love the Olaplex number no. three. I do have the shampoo and conditioner. I'm not sure I've ever tried them, but maybe I will take a day to pull out all of my Olaplex and just use everything in the line and see what happens. Maybe the magic is in the regimen. You just have to use everything. It says you have to leave it on for 10 minutes. That's a really long time. Usually I leave my hair mask on while I shave my legs. Doesn't take me 10 minutes. So I might need to work this out with the shower. I wanna make sure I get all of the benefits. So I'll probably have to stop, maybe get out of the shower, leave it on, and then get back in to rinse it out. It's worth it. Anything that will help prevent damage, I will jump through that hoop. So I will let you guys know. The great thing about this too is it's only $28 versus 50 and 60 dollars even more than that for some of the higher end masks currently i am well stocked when it comes to hair care styling products finishing sprays that sort of thing but it never stops me i always find myself adding hair care products to cart but this was a little set that i saw i wanted to take advantage because it was a value set save the 20 percent off and it is this dry shampoo i always go through dry shampoo it's probably the one product that i don't have a lot of. I think I maybe have one. So this will be my backup. 
It's from IGK. I love their products. I'm on an IGK cake right now. This is First Class, the Charcoal Detox Dry Shampoo. Deep cleanse level, detoxifying, oil erasing, scalp soothing. Since I like everything else, I figured I would go ahead and try this. It has charcoal powder. So you get a big bottle like this, and then it also comes with this smaller bottle, which is two ounce. So I guess you could probably travel with this, although it's aerosol, so maybe not. Hmm, it smells nice. I don't usually go through dry shampoo that often. My scalp really doesn't get that oily, but it's just nice to have. You never know when you're going to need it. I always like to have a good dry shampoo on hand just to help extend the wash if necessary. This was probably my only impulse purchase from the sale. I tried to be very mindful this time around, but I was scrolling through all of the new products, new launches, trying to see if there was anything interesting. And I saw this and I just added to cart. This is from Iconic London. I don't think I have anything from them, although I see them all over social media. So they do a great job with their advertising because I have brand recognition and I don't think I've ever seen it in store, let alone tried any of their products. This is the Sheer Bronze, Sheer Bronze in Golden Hour. Be original, be iconic. What is this again? I don't even remember what it is. I think it's a liquid bronzer. Looks kind of small. How interesting. It's kind of sheer and glossy. There's a lot of slip to it. I don't think it has a smell. It doesn't really stay really oily. It's almost, almost feels like a moisturizer. You know, when you rub it in and then it kind of disappears. I don't know if I love that. I don't know what I thought it was going to be. I need to test it out. Maybe this will be nice since I don't sunless tan my face. Maybe it would be nice to go in with something like this underneath my makeup. And then when I apply my foundation, it looks like a better match and it will give me a little bit more color. I'm gonna have to look into reviews and see. I don't know what I expected. Maybe I just need to test it out. I'm sitting here thinking, did I buy two of the same thing? Because it sort of looks similar to this Fenty. And even the finish is sort of similar. It just doesn't have any glow or luminosity. This has a very subtle sheen to it. And then this has no sheen. But I imagine you probably could apply this to the face and it would give you the same effect. This is probably more cost effective because it's huge. But I don't know. I'll test it out and see the size. <laughs> I just can't get over how small this tube is. <laughs> Teeny tiny. And it is sheer, so it's not even a cream contour. Maybe a cream bronzer, but I think you would really have to build it up. I thought I applied too much on my hand and it was going to be too much color. But after blending it out, it really didn't go that far. Hmm. Still a mystery at the moment. To be determined. And then the very last thing I purchased is this Tom Ford Soleil Blanc Travel Spray. I didn't have this on hand and I want to do an in-depth review on the brand new Soleil Brulant. I think the two fragrances are totally different. I don't think they're meant to be inspired by one another. They aren't different interpretations of the same scent. Just night and day difference, but I still wanted this on hand because I think it will be interesting to compare them side by side. So nice. I love Soleil Blanc. I love the shimmering body oil, but it's nice to have the perfume as well. Mm. Just reminds me of the beach and summertime. So good. And this is probably my favorite of the travel atomizers. Just looks so chic, so luxurious. And then the last little piece of today's haul is this package I recently received from Marc Jacobs Beauty. I don't know if this particular sale is still going on. They had 30% off. I believe it was site-wide. But I will tell you about Marc Jacobs. They always have a sale. They always have a great sale section. 
it's gotten to the point where I just don't think I would ever pay full price for any of their products ever again because even pieces that I purchased full price from Holiday last year are now on sale drastically reduced and I like a lot of their products. I love their brushes are amazing so highly recommend all of their face brushes. I have one, two, and three. I picked up this contour brush. It's called The Shape Contour and Blush Brush because I really want to finish my collection of Marc Jacobs face brushes. They are so nice. I remember hearing a rumor a while ago that Marc Jacobs was doing away with their brushes or maybe they were going to change them. And I noticed that they were not available at Sephora anymore, which was very disappointing because it's one of those products that I almost always recommend during the sale. So I was looking for them. I think that's what brought me to the Marc Jacobs website to begin with. Hopefully they aren't going away. You can still purchase them now directly from the Marc Jacobs site, but I think they're great. They are some of the best foundation brushes I've ever used. I love the brush handle. It feels really nice, weighted in the hand, nice and glossy as if nothing bad can happen to it. You know, it feels really high quality. <gasps> Ooh. Oh. Ah, the static. <laughs> on my ankle it's a kabuki but it's kind of flat it's an oval shape at the top so you can chisel your cheekbones if you're doing a cream contour it says blush as well I'm sure you could do a cream blush this looks really interesting I don't think I have another brush like this not that's this size and then I also picked up a couple different eyeliners this one is the highliner, this is the metallic liquid gel eyeliner in the shade Blitz Coin, number 40. I think this one is the bronze. I picked up two. I've been playing around with that fox eye trend. I didn't do it today, but I've been doing it almost every single day. The eyeliner that works the best for me is the Brune Agape from Chanel, but because I've been doing it so often, I did have two mishaps where the end broke off, so I had to re-sharpen it and I lost a good chunk of my eyeliner liner that way. I didn't have as much luck using the new Gucci eyeliners. I really think they're just so tough. They're great on the inner rim, kind of this inner lash line area, but on top of the lash line, I just don't think they glide. They needed to be a little bit creamier, at least for my eyes. If you have really youthful eyes and you can just drag right across, great. For me, it doesn't really work as well, but I thought maybe a liquid eyeliner, like a liquid bronze or brown, would work really nicely as well. So that's what inspired me to seek out these eyeliners. Ooh, the shade. So pretty. Next, I'm going to open Star Magic number 32. This one is more of a rose gold, which also looks really pretty. I couldn't decide between the two since it was on sale and they were relatively inexpensive. I figured I would just go ahead and get both. But look how pretty this rose gold is. I'm really glad I picked up both. They're different enough. I know on the eye, the difference will probably be even more subtle, but I love this bronze and I love the rose gold. In fact, it's a lot more rosy than it looked in the photo online. They're both beautiful. I'm so happy. The last eyeliner I picked up was another fine liner, the Ultra Skinny Gel Eye Crayon. This is the one I really like. So these are really thin, very small, and this is just a chocolatey brown. This will be perfect for doing a fox eye because whenever you angle down just a little bit on the inner part of the lash line, you need something that is so small and precise. Hopefully this will stop me from breaking my Chanel eyeliner since that one is so much more expensive than this. And the last thing in the box is this cute Marc Jacobs Beauty makeup bag. This was a little gift with purchase they had. I don't know what the minimum spend was. It must have been 50 because I don't think I spent more than $100 on those eyeliners and brush. Maybe I did, but I don't think you had to spend much. It's cute. I have so many makeup bags, but what I like about this is that it's plastic. So I will probably use this as a bikini bag. Whenever I go to the beach, I like to take a plastic bag, something like this, to throw a wet bikini in. 
So you could take this to the beach down by the pool if you want to change into dry clothes afterwards. Something that you don't really think about, but it's so great to have on hand. This is what you need when you're an experienced beachgoer. You need a wet bikini bag to keep everything nice and dry. That completes part two of my Sephora Spring Savings Event haul. I am so happy with everything I picked up, with the exception of that iconic London sheer bronzer that I need to revisit, but the hourglass blush, the dry shampoo, the Fenty body sauce, everything else was really amazing. And of course, I am looking forward to playing around with these new eyeliners from Marc Jacobs as well. So thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Leave me your comments, questions down below. I want to know from you guys, what is your favorite thing you have picked up so far from the sale? Drop us a comment. Let us all know. Everybody contribute and we can just scroll through the comments together and see all of the best items to pick up. As always, I will be linking everything mentioned. Everything on my face will be down below in the description box for your convenience. And for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell.